Hey there, everybody. Happy Sunday to you. We are in like that march, uh, in like a lion out <laughs> like a lamb. It's 85 today, but the wind is blowing like 20 to 30 miles an hour. Yeah, that's, that's nice because it kind of scatters the seeds around, gets rid of all the leaves, gets rid of all the clutter, ready for spring. Speaking of spring, I've got two new journals to go into the shop, you guys. These are fairy journals. I created the cover uh, both the covers uh, with a napkin that I collaged on a couple pieces of cardstock and I added some really, really pretty frosty, sparkly brads right here on each one of them. So let's go through these. These will be in the shop a little later on this afternoon. Um, this is Linton Fairy. I think these are hellebore, uh, so that is Lenten Rose. That's what's blooming in my yard right now. I have Lenten Rose, and I have daffodils, and my um, Lady of the Nile is coming up. So, you know, everything is just really pretty right now. I did add a couple closures, so I will kind of go through here and sort of tell you what happened. As far as adding closures, uh, I added this closure because I felt like when you start bulking this journal up that you might need this extra closure right here. I liked the addition of beads on this book. I just thought it kind of fit the theme. I liked the color of the beads, especially this beautiful red with pops of gold in purple right here it just seemed to you know it just seemed to flow with the journal so i uh, um i did do two closures on here let me show you the back this is an exquisite piece of crochet i wanted to use the entire piece of crochet i did not want to tear it apart and luckily i had two of these crochet doilies in my stash and they're exceptional i don't have any more <laughs> so these are definitely the end of the you know the using crochet sort of thing on my journals um this is a recycled padded envelope you can tell that it kind of pulled right here and it has a bit of a pull right here but it still is it's imperfect because I'm imperfect, and that's just how how uh, things roll here. I do the very same thing on each journal, but they all turn out different. I don't know what that is, but, you know, it's just, it's in the way of things, as Dr. Wayne Dyer would say. So let's look at this closure. This is one of those fussy closures because it's um, I utilize the holes in the crochet to do the actual closure. So, you know, you have to kind of pull up on it and let it go. Now, don't be upset because this is not glued down entirely because you need room to kind of pull on this and uh, close your journal up. So let's take a look inside. You can see right here, I've got a couple creases. Again, did the same thing, same way. Even the, the like, I was putting these together on the same day and they turned out differently. I really never <laughs> exactly know what that is, but it's, you know, it's, it is what it is. I, at first I was gonna not sell this journal because it had a few flaws. And then I thought, you know, I have spent hours and hours and hours on this. It's uh, our draw for perfection is out of control. You know, m comparison is out of control. Do your thing, do it to the best of your ability, put it out there and let people see it and then let them decide for themselves if they want it or not. I took the napkin pieces that I had left you guys and I collaged them on some cardstock. You also have our uh, examples of tatty ribbon over here, more tatty ribbon here, lots of things to write upon, collage, uh, tuck spot here, there's a tuck spot here. Um, 
tuck spots right here. I've got a little piece of cardstock right here so you don't miss a tuck spot. And um, tuck spot here. It's really been fun to put these books together. I always worked in a 5x7 format, and I'm really enjoying the experience of branching out into bigger size journals. And um, I will definitely be doing more of these and less of the 5x7s that, you know, I've embraced that size for years and years and years. And, you know, sometimes you just need a change. More tuck spots right here. A piece of beautiful fabric that has... Um, uh, hydrangea on it. I thought that that, I mean, it just goes so well with these, this page. Uh, a little notice at the top that says thankful. Coffee dyed papers. Lots and lots and lots of room for you to write. I took a tatty ribbon and made, um, and made a belly band. A vertical belly band I thought that that turned out really well that was a lot of fun too I tell you that tatty ribbon is becoming indispensable to the way that I create and I do I think I have three more packs in the sh in the Etsy store uh, you get four 24 inch tatty ribbons for 20 bucks and I really can't explain how much fun they are and how they really add to your creations because it's a pre-sewn layered kind of object and there's a big tuck spot right here because this had a map I thought you know it'd be kind of cool to imagine your dream home and you can journal about it right here and where it would be and how it would look and what the weather would be like and what the people would be like where your um, your imaginary dream home might be located okay so we're gonna close it and you got to kind of lift up and sort of pat the crochet down the crochet was it's like I said you know it, it just it was begging to be let out of the bag and be useful again okay so there we go Lenten Fairy we have Xenia Fairy beautiful beautiful napkin again you know basically the same thing we had some beads that looked perfect with this so a double closure again let's open this up press down dislodge the crochet just be careful you know there we go this book <laughs> came out a lot better than the other one don't ask me why i give up I give up on um, trying to overthink and make myself crazy over wee baubles. I just refuse to do it anymore. I have let that go this morning. Uh, we've got a little tuck spot right here. This is a sewn piece as well. I love these. Um, I love the, this key stamp. I just think it's super pretty. You know, we're thinking about a garden theme. And when I think garden theme, I think uh, Secret Garden. You know, the beautiful book, Secret Garden, that so transformed um, the way that, uh, that children embrace life. I, I really love the message in that book. And I think that it's, you know, it's a great read for an adult, you know, to help you... Um, Embrace your creativity and embrace the now. We've got another tuck spot here. Some things to play with here. More things to play with here. A little tuck spot right here. You know, a secret journaling spot right there. I can see these on a, on a nightstand. You know, lying on your nightstand. You know, kind of illuminated by a candlelight or a sweet lamp light. Uh, it could be your good night journal. It could be your dream journal. Maybe your intention journal as you dream. Got another belly band right here. 
Poppy Dodd and T Dodd papers. Tuck spots here. This is a journal that you can make into your very, very, very own creation. Just remember to push down. You know, it's going to be a little bit wiggly here, but it's a brad. So if it wiggles too much, just open your journal and just kind of readjust the brad. You guys are smart. You know how to do things like that. So there we go. We have Xenia Fairy and Lenten Fairy ready to head over to the Etsy store. You guys, thank you for your support. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for um, accepting me as I am. I appreciate it. I'll see you later. Bye.